Hi, I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes & Associates. Today we're looking at Suzy Bell. Suzy Bell is a 2003 Sea line T47, a rather rare vessel, and it's got some really unique features. So I'm going to take you aboard and uh, give you a, sh a look around. It's a great pride of ownership in the shine on her gel coat. She's clean and it'll be a pleasure to show here in uh, Carolina Beach, North Carolina. She's got beautiful teak on the fiberglass swim platform with a large storage hatch there. I like the hydraulic gangplank that can swing out and extend, can make boarding from various different docks a breeze. Going aboard Susie Bell from a floating dock like this is a piece of cake. A simple step over to the swim platform. You can see the uh, off deck nicely appointed with upholstery in really good shape and more beautiful teak. Good speakers. She's got a nice sound system. She's got a, a storage system in the headliner along with some more speakers nice steps up to the uh, flybridge uh, here we have a refrigerator and an extra storage. Under this cushion leads down to uh, the laundry room, generator room, and engine room, which I'll show you later in the video. Going forward is all right. The decks are a little narrow, but that provides so much space down in the cabin that I think it's well worth it. And you've got a nice handrail here up on the uh, cabin to make passage forward rather secure to a nice sun pad again beautiful shine the windlass is recessed keeps you from stubbing your toes on it that's a really nice design and a good anchor locker with your wash down pump right there room for fenders and a nice little uh, hanger for uh, keeping the things you need, like your bridle, right up where you need them. So, really well thought out foredeck that you can walk around and not worry about tripping on. There's your hatch down to the forward cabin. She really is a sharp looking boat. The size of the cleats are enormous. The stainless all shiny. They really do take good care of the boat. And that brings us back uh, into the cockpit. Right up the steps to the flybridge. You've got a beautiful view all the way around. With your radar and uh, TV and satellite communication gear. It's got a nice little sun pad on the uh, companionway door which closes to cover the companionway. And the seats prop up. So they can be a bench seat as well. In here we have a, another refrigerator. So if you don't want to go down to the cockpit to get a cold drink, no need. We've got speakers up here, courtesy lights, upholstery is in nice shape. Full uh, controls at the helm. 
and the helm seat uh, can slide back and out of the way so that uh, you can engage with your guests a little easier than just pointing forward. I think that's a pretty neat feature. It's got these stainless steel runners and it slides back into place. Just to the right of the steps is the entrance into the spacious salon. I really dig the lighting in this uh, boat. The galley down. There's your pilot house right here. Spacious salon. Your entertainment center and a couple of chairs which you can pull out. Underneath the uh, TV there is a third refrigerator. Really nice stainless steel bins. And this table quite unique. Voila, simple as that. Now you've got uh, seating for six or eight people when you bring their chairs forward. Really nicely done by Sea Line. At the helm you've got full controls. Older style Raymarine, wind and depth, and the chart plotter, the Cummins uh, electronic controls, the Cummins uh, six CTAs I think are in this vessel, and some storage. They've utilized some. Good, good ideas for storage. This nice little island here. Wet bar. With some more storage back here. And you can tuck the chairs in there as well. Forward as you enter the galley, you can see the main... Uh, Electrical switch panel. Everything's well organized. A little bit of water damage on the floor, but otherwise the rest of the wood in the boat is beautiful. Quite a contrast, really. So you've got a two-burner electric stove. Nice little two-bin sink here. with a beautiful uh, foster, faucet there. Microwave oven. Lots of pull-out drawers for storage. Nicely done cabinetry. Even uh, drawers up top. Oh, I might not be able to get that one. Oh, we'll have to come back to that one. Oh, there it goes. All right. And you can see... Uh, your central air registers, uh, right now we got the heat on and that's a good thing. So forward of the galley and down a couple steps to port, we have what I think is the master cabin. Just about a queen size bed, walk around. A nice vanity. Again, beautiful lighting, beautiful woodwork in this boat, with the exception of the few little blemishes uh, of the woodwork in the galley. I think the woodwork here is beautiful. So the ensuite head has a really nice um, flooring. I like this. This is a really wood caulked floor. This is not a uh, one of these newfangled uh, glue down things. That's, that's real teak. 
plenty of real teak on this boat. You see a full shower. The glass door that can close. Nice, clean. Nice stateroom. And forward again, we'll come into uh, the master. Well, no, this would be hard to tell which is the master in this boat, actually. <laughs> this bed looks a little bigger, and it is a, a true walk around. TV to port and entrance to the other head again with the nice wooden floors beautiful clean well kept separate shower this shower is a little larger than the other one the two's got a closing glass door on the magnet are clean very nice and it's got another doorway out into the foyer so it could be the, the guest head as well a couple other features I'd like to point out uh, that we missed going through here's your uh, refrigerator freezer underneath the stove and pull out drawers camouflage so well I didn't realize what it was at first and the fact there's three other refrigerators on board that's something so in here is a little noisy but there's a separate compartment just for the uh, air conditioning systems Your air handlers, storage bins, huh? really well thought out designs on this boat. And here's your uh, gray water area where all of your uh, shower drains and air conditioners and everything drain into here nice clean bilges clean enough to be extra storage here you can see the engine room accessed through the uh, floorboards in the salon you can see the engines are clean Reasonable accessibility for uh, for the engines under the under the floor like this. That's not bad. The engine room is accessible through the uh, hatches in the salon floor, or out in the cockpit area underneath the seat cushion there's a great set of steps that leads you right down into a laundry room the storage the ability to mount a head if you chose access here to the running gear a couple of spare props and lots of storage it almost be like a cruise quarters in here the door opens into the generator room which has its own hatch that you can get to through the cockpit but the the stairs there are a little different, so I chose the aft stairs. 
we come in, we'll throw that and that. And there is our engine room. It's a little dark. I'm sure there's a light somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So you have the back side of the engines, and you can see up into the salon. I hope you found that tour helpful. Some other things I can tell you about the boat. Um, she's powered with a twin Cummins 6 CTA 480 horsepower uh, diesel engines. Uh, capable of pushing her along at 25 knots. But at a slow cruise, uh, she runs about nine knots and gets uh, excellent fuel economy. So if you're in the market for very well built, uh, beautiful 47 foot motor yacht, um, I think you owe it to yourself to give Bill a call and find out more about this one. You can contact um, him or myself um, to schedule a showing and I appreciate your time. Once again, I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes and Associates. Have a great day.